Hey guys, welcome back to Little Bro's Studio. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you five simple knots with a bonus. Let's get straight into the video. So I am going to have a standing end and a working end. The standing end is just still. The working end is doing all of the loops. So the first knot I'll be showing you is a overhand knot. So the first step to do an overhand is to make a loop and then thread it through. This is a underhand knot, very similar to an overhand. So the first step of making an underhand knot is to make a loop and then thread the working end under and then over the loop then you need to tighten it. So the third knot is a figure of eight loop. So the first step of a figure eight loop is to get your working end and put it next to the standing end. Step two is to make a loop and then put it over both of your rope and then put it under and then thread it through your first loop that you created and then tighten. So this knot is a square knot. It involves a overhand and then a underhand. This knot does not require a standing end. So the first step to make a square knot is to do a overhand, but instead of having the loop, it's the end. So first you need to make a cross and then put the working end under the standing end but do not tighten it and then step three is to instead of this the standing this the working this one's the standing this one's the working and then you put the working end under the standing end and then over the standing end and then you tighten So this knot is a clove hitch. So for this knot you need something that is above the ground, standing or able to move. Let's jump right into it. So the first step of doing this knot is to put it over your object and then thread it under your object. And then you need to put your working end over the rope and then you thread it under and then and then you need to thread it under your rope and then tighten it and it should end up looking like this this is a thief knot it is not a square knot this is also a bonus this knot does not require a standing end. So the first step of making a thief knot is to make a loop and then thread your other end through the loop then under both ends and then back through the loop and then you can tighten. So guys, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. See you in the next one. Goodbye.